Got another question for the unusual organic mechanisms playlist. So we're on to number eight now. Hope you like the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why don't you think about doing that? But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. So starting with step one, we're told the oxygen atom of the alcohol group accepts a proton to form a positively charged intermediate. So I need to draw a proton relatively close to that oxygen. Uh, you'll notice that I've already put in the two electron pairs, the two lone pairs on the oxygen. I'm going to use one of them and donate to the H plus ion. So we'll show that with that curly arrow. And what that's going to do is it's going to bond the oxygen to the H plus ion. So the positively charged intermediate looks like that. And then moving on to step two, we're told that the bromide ion reacts with the intermediate from step one by nucleophilic substitution to form one bromobutin. So I've already drawn up the organic product just to help me explain what's going to happen in step two. So we can see that this bonds form between the end carbon of the intermediate and the bromine. So the way that's going to work is the bromide ion is going to donate a pair of electrons to that carbon. And that ties in with the fact that it's nucleophilic substitution. Remember, a nucleophile is an electron pair donor. So we need to draw a curly arrow from that pair of electrons onto that carbon. And then obviously we need to lose this here. So the way that works is a pair of electrons from the CO bond are going to be moving onto the O. So that part's going to break off and form a water molecule. 